In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create an animated hamburger menu in your WordPress website using Elementor. So normally in Elementor when you create a menu, you can see the hamburger icon has no transition. It immediately changes from the hamburger icon to this close icon. So I'll show you how to add this smooth animation between these two icons. And I will also show you how to make these icons to look more lighter, which is better than the default bold icon. So without further ado, let's get into that. Okay, here you can see this is our default header. So first of all, let's here replace this header with our Elementor custom header. So let's go to our dashboard. And here under templates, let's go to this theme builder option and go to this header tab. And from here, we will create our new header. And by the way, to use this theme builder option, you have to have the Elementor Pro version. So if you don't have Elementor Pro, you can get this from my link on the description. So right now, let's click on this add new icon. And from here, let's give a name for our header. And click on create template. So here, I don't want to start it from scratch because here in this tutorial, we only want to focus on our hamburger menu. So I have already created some content in our header. So let's go to our templates and inside my templates. Let's insert this one. I have already made this and click on yes. Here in this header, I have taken two columns and in the first column, I have already taken a logo. So right now on our second column, let's add a menu. So from here, let's search for menu and drag this widget to here. And first here from this drop down option, let's select our menu. So I want to select the header menu three. So if we go to our dashboard and under appearance under menus, you can see you have already created this header menu three and included some items inside that. So in that page, we have also see that menu items. Here for this menu on our desktop device, we don't want to see our hamburger icon. We only want to show you in our tablet or mobile device. So here on desktop, first of all, let's customize its design from this alignment option. First of all, I want to make the alignment to the right side. And I also don't want this underline. So make the pointer to the none. And then let's also customize the typography. So here from this style tab, here go to the typography option and first of all let's change this font to one of this beautiful Jost font and make the font size to 15 pixel and I want to make all the letters in uppercase so make the text transform to this uppercase okay then let's also change the color for these menu items so from here I want to make it to fully dark color and on hover, I also don't want this green color. So go to this hover tab and also make it to fully black. Okay, now if you look at the right side of this menu, here you can see some space on this side. Here I don't want this space. I want to touch it with our this right side. So here this space is basically comes from the padding of our each item. To get rid of this, let's make the horizontal padding to fully zero. Okay, but you can see there is no gap between these items. So for this, I also want to make some space between these items to 35 pixel. Okay, now our menu looks good for our desktop. Now let's check this in our tablet device. So go to this responsive mode and go to this tablet device. Okay, here you can see these hamburger icons. But for our tablet devices, we don't really need that. Here on this device, we want to keep that menu as the same of our desktop. So for this, let's again go to the content. And here the breakpoint is set to tablet. I only want the mobile menu for our mobile device. So let's make it to mobile. But here you can see our menu goes in two lines. So for this, we need to increase the column width of our right section. First of all, let's go to our first column and here let's make some width 20% and for our second column, I want to make the remaining 80%. Okay, now this looks good. So here for our this menu, we do not enable our hamburger icon for our tablet device. But if you have a menu with a lot of items, 
which you cannot fit for your tablet device in that case you can also enable the hamburger icon also for your tablet device okay next go to our mobile device and here this is our hamburger menu but i want to keep these two columns in one line so let's go to the first column and make its width to 50 percent and i also want to do this with our second column okay then from this menu option i want to place this toggle icon on our right side so from this toggle align option make it to right but now if we click on here you can see this looks very weird so to fix this i want to make this drop down to full width turn on this option here and now you can see our drop down has become full width and you can also customize the design for this drop down menu from this style option so here under this drop down here are some options to customize this so first of all i want to change the text color to this fully black color and on hover you can see this dark type of background color to change this let's go to this hover and make the background color to a lighter color like this okay now this is looks good and after that for this drop down i want some gap at the top and the bottom so we will make that gap with the help of this border so from here let's make it to solid and i want to remove this clip icon here on the top and bottom i want to make some border to 15 pixel and i want to remove that border color so from here let's make it to fully transparent okay then for this drop down here i also want to add some box shadow because if you have a white background like this on your page you visually cannot differentiate the area between this drop down and this page so for this let's add some box shadow here make the vertical value to 10 and also make a lighter color for this okay now you can see this box shadow so right now let's click on this button here Okay, let me hide this panel and let's click on here and you can see our drop down has working properly but you can see when you click on this our icon has been immediately changed from this one icon to another so to animate this we need to write some custom css code for our this nav menu widget so let's go to this advanced tab and here under custom css let's paste this custom css code here and here you can see our default icon has been changed with this nice light icon and now if we click on this you can see a nice transition between these two icons so right now if we go to the style tab and under this toggle button from here you can also customize some style for this icon so if you want to make it size to 40 we can do that from here or if we want to change its color we can also do that from here we can make it to full red or full black and here i don't want any background color so let's make the background to fully white or fully transparent and then if we again go to our custom css option at the top from here you can also customize some option for this hamburger icon so here is the option gap so if you increase this to 0.5 you can see the gap between this hamburger icon has been increased and after that here is the white option so if you want to make it more bold you can do that from here so let's make it 2.15 okay now it's more bold and here is the width option so if we make it width to 1.8 now we can see the width has been also increased okay but i want to make this to the default value and lastly here click on this update button to save this header and here click on this add condition button if you want to show this header for your entire website you can keep this default option and click on save and close so lastly let's go to our home page and refresh this so now we can see our new header and it looks fine on our desktop and now check this from our tablet device okay this is also fine and finally check this on our mobile device great so that's how we can make an animated hamburger menu 
and by doing this little thing you can improve the look and feel of your website so if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to like and subscribe and if you need any help for your wordpress related project feel free to contact me from my website which is makedreamwebsite.com i'll put that link also in my description or you can directly email me at contact at makedreamwebsite.com i'll try my best to help you so that's it for today bye for now i'll see you on my next tutorial